हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्रिस्टो मेडिकल लाइफ टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इट टू चैप्टर ट्वेंटी ऑफ रॉबिन्स पैथोलॉजी व्हिच इज़ ऑल अबाउट रीनल पैथोलॉजी इफ़ यू आर स्टिंग फॉर योर एग्जाम्स लाइक नीच पी जी एफ एम जी सिटी एंड यू एस और जस्ट क्यूरियस अबाउट हाउ ओवर किडनीज वर्क यू आर इन द राइट प्लेस so let's start with our some general information uh, did you know that our kidneys filter about 1700 liters of blood every single day that's a lot of work for these small organs and from all that blood they produce around 1 liter of highly concentrated urine now let's talk about the amazing functions of a kidney and they do so much more than just filter the blood first they filter out waste product from our blood this is crucial for uh, keeping our bodies uh, healthy second they release erythropoietin which stimulate the production of red blood cells without this hormone we had be anemic and tired all the time renin the next the kidney release the renin an enzyme that helps regulate our blood pressure so they play a role a crucial role in maintaining our cardiovascular health the next hormone is the prostaglandin okay which is a very essential for uh, arachidonic pathway is a product of arachidonic pathway and uh, it help in the uh, cardiovascular health uh, and uh, very vital has a very has very vital role also. the next is the regulating the vitamin d metabolism uh, lastly they help activate vitamin d which is essential for our bone health without kidneys our bones would be weak and fragile now let's break down the basic morphological compartment of the kidney okay the first compartment is the uh, glomeruli this tiny structure are often affected by the immune mediated injuries think of them as the initial filter filtration unit the next are the tubules which can be damaged by toxins and infection they play a vital role in reabsorbing essential substances back into the blood then the interstitium the space between tubules which can also be impacted by toxins and infections and lastly the blood vessel fourth compartment damage here can lead to various pathologies and uh, affect overall function of kidney when all four of these compartment are damaged it can lead to end stage kidney disease you can call it uh, esrd end stage renal disease okay a serious condition that requires medical intervention now we are talk uh, we are uh, discussing the clinical manifestation of the uh, uh, renal pathology uh, first of all azotemia azotemia is characterized by elevated blood urea nitrogen bu and and creating levels this indicate that the kidneys are not filtering waste products efficiently second symptom second clinical manifestation is the uremia uremia refer to symptoms caused by the azotemia azotemia is a symptomatic condition which is diagnosed by the laboratory tests and the uremia is a symptom okay is a sign and symptom so symptoms due to azotemia when the waste products accumulate in blood they cause uh, they can cause uh, nausea fatigue and other systemic effects uh the next one is the uh, nephritic syndrome 
nephritic syndrome is another clinical manifestation uh, it include uh, uh, symptoms such as the gross hematuria visible blood in the urine red cell cast then reduce uh, glomerular filtration rate and the hypertension the next is the uh, nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome so nephrotic syndrome is characterized by the heavy proteinuria more than 3.5 gram per day then low level of albumin in the blood uh, we can call it the hypo albuminemia then the severe edema then hyperlipidemia and lastly the lipiduria uh, so what are the distinguishing point uh, of, of uh, nephrotic syndrome from the uh, nephritic syndrome so absence of the hypertension and the gross hematuria so you can remember these two for the nephritic syndrome and uh, for heavy proteinuria and lipiduria for the nephrotic syndrome the next one is the acute kidney injury acute kidney injury involves a rapid decline in the gfr over a, a few hours to days it's a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention next one is the chronic kidney disease is defined by the gfr of less than 60 milliliter per minute per 1.73 square meters of surface area body surface area for at least three months it's a progressive condition that can lead to serious complication if not managed properly and last is the esrd and stage renal disease occurs when the gfr drops to less than five percent of the normal at this stage the kidney can no longer sustain life without dialysis or a kidney transplant so principles uh, principal systemic manifestation of the chronic kidney disease and uremia you can read it from this table uh, i can read for you so fluid and electrolyte loss can cause the dehydration edema hyperkalemia metabolic acidosis then calcium phosphate and bone so hyperphosphatemia hypocalcemia secondary hyperparathyroidism renal osteodystrophy all these are the uh, symptoms sign and symptoms of the uh, chronic renal disease uh, then hematological anemia bleeding diastasis cardiopulmonary uh, sign symptoms hypertension congestive heart failure cardiomyopathy pulmonary edema uremic pericarditis then the gastrointestinal uh, signs and symptoms nausea vomiting bleeding esophagitis gastritis colitis then the neuromuscular symptoms myopathy peripheral neuropathy and encephalopathy and lastly the dermatological signs and symptoms hello color pruritis and dermatitis so understanding this clinical manifestation is crucial for diagnosing and treating renal diseases effectively in our next video we will dwell into specific diseases and uh, their pathophysiology so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest content thanks for watching and stay curious